everyone. Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith with me as usual. Big welcome to you to today's game. And this match features Borussia Dortmund against Roma. So the title holders are now back in action, fresh off that wonderful campaign. Can they do it again? Well, you can just sense, feel the buzz within this stadium. The fans are expecting big things. That's a good piece of defensive play with the tackle. It's with De Rossi. In the clear here, and the pass could cut them open. Good, clean tackle. And he's met it with his head. And it's in! The header! Kevin Rosskreutz. He's in here. Now, here is a chance for them. Oh, this is it. And he's swerved it into the net. Brilliant opening. A terrific challenge right at the last. That's it. Final whistle. First game of the season, first win of the season. Wonderful feeling. And they'll just... Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Emirates Stadium. And our match today, Arsenal against Napoli. Oh, curse of the commentator, I'm afraid. Arsenal will be looking for victory today, but they know it won't be straightforward. Terrific vision, in with a chance. So dangerous. It's loose now, in the box. It's gone! What a chance here. He's gone for the chance. What a good way to score. Tackling here. Not long left, but that's delighted to have you along for the ride for this game. Alan Smith has joined me in the commentary position. Here's Chiellini. And that's a brilliant goal, well taken. Marquisio. Great opportunity. And the build-up, they're nearly in. So dangerous. Here's a goal for Juventus. Well, that has made it 2-0. But well, he's still going. It's a great run, this. On. And that's the end of the match. And it's 2-0. In the end, straightforward for the winning team. They played well, didn't they? They did play well. And I uh, fancy them beforehand, but it doesn't always pan out that way. Uh, every single player down there had a good game. That's the end of what has been... A fabulous contest between these two teams. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler and this is the Vicente Calderon. Today, Atletico... Oh, in goes the cross. Good cross. Goodness me, it's hit the post. And it's in. Off the bar. Wonderful header, wonderful goal. Great move, good anticipation leading to the interception there. Oh, that's a wonderful ball. Can they finish it? Oh, and it ends with this shot. Final score here, 1-0. Well, this club has got a long road ahead, but when uh, you see them turn on the style like this... Hasn't booked him. It's good to see that he has given him real dressing down and I'm sure that's a final warning yeah I would have thought so bit of old-fashioned ref in there it's good to see that communication not enough of it these days he's gone for goal and they managed to score here beyond the reach of the goalkeeper and underneath the crossbar for the goal and he slammed it in isn't he almost think that he meant it good shot on the volley well that's not going to trouble a keeper of Julio Cesar's credentials it's over and the referee blows the whistle for the last time well, that's got them across that awful line where you're below it and you're in. England have got this match underway. And our match today, Arsenal against England for Marlon. Andre Santos. Arsenal now embedded in at the Emirates Stadium. They left their Highbury home in 2006. He's really whipped it into the middle. And there it is for Arsenal. One of the great sights in football to see the net bulging from a fine header like this. Yeah. Song's challenge here. 
there we are, final whistle. This is a march towards a league title, isn't it? Another three points. An amazing football match this has been. It's been a real pleasure to bring it to you. I'm sure I speak for Alan Smith, who's been alongside me. Time for the match. Martin Tyler here to describe it for you with my good friend Alan Smith. Yeah, hi there, Martin. Walking into the ground today, I've just got that feeling. Feeling it's going to be a really good afternoon. And this is our match today. It's Stoke City, and they play Bordeaux. Well, they've got a bit of time in hand here, but today they can settle the promotion by winning the match. Yeah, I mean, it would be disastrous for them if they didn't manage to clinch it now with uh, more than one goal. game remaining. Goal! Fantastic header! And here it comes, though, the defenders... It's taken just four minutes for the first goal. Mark Wilson. Mark Wilson. And he goes for goal with his head. Well, he's failed to keep his shot down. He's in here. Attack. And the defender's done well to deal with it. He's hunted down the defender. That's a marvellous defensive challenge. Good pass. Oh, he's beaten his marker. That was an interception that really worked for his team. Tries his luck. Not much Good in that. Support play. Off the ball. I yeah. oh, saved it. It's still in play. Oh, in goes the cross. Great opportunity. Goodness me, it's hit the post. But the defending was even better. Oh, it has to be. Cross it, just got to keep calm, and the goal gives them the equaliser. And that's one certainly for the description of Alan Smith. <laughs> Getting up above his centre half. And, well, that's the half-time whistle with the scores level here. Just wonder as the half-time whistle goes with the team's level, which side has got the potential here to push on? His ball towards Crouch, oh, what a goal that is! That is an absolute stunner from Peter Crouch! And the defender stepped in very capably. Here's Pennant. Crouch! Great goal here. And it puts them into the lead. Well, we don't see it very often, but the manager is going for broke here. He's allowed three fresh faces, and here they come, all at once. Stokes it in the lead. Intercepted there. This is the chance. And there it is, the goal! He's doubled his money here, with two great goals. Nothing like for a manager seeing a goal like that, a real team effort. Great understanding between those lads down there. And the scoreline is 3-1. Referees called the halt, it's over. Stoke City have won it. Well, it is a marathon, not a sprint. 
but it's a marathon which has a wonderful feeling at the end of it if you cross the finishing line first and that's what they've done here it's an incredible achievement truly something to be very proud of yeah no greater sense of satisfaction than lifting the league and uh, these boys have deservedly been crowned champions great game it's been a great experience for alan smith and myself to broadcast it to you until the next time from both of us a very good night to you all